VR gaming has been expanding at a rapid pace over the years and is only getting bigger. With Sony announcing the next generation of PlayStation VR, let's take a look at some titles coming to the current platform this year. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's get started. After the Fall From the developer behind Arizona Sunshine comes another first-person survival shooter in VR, this time set in the frigid remains of 1980s Los Angeles. You'll explore the wasteland, discovering powers and scavenging resources to create weapons while fighting off monsters known as the Snowbreed. The campaign supports up to four players and also has crossplay. After the Fall is set to release this summer for PlayStation VR, PC, and Oculus. Song in the Smoke Song in the Smoke comes from 17-bit of Galaxy fame, but don't expect any arcade shooting here. A prehistoric world of wild beasts, primitive tools, and expansive environments awaits. Players will forge tools and weapons, use flint to make campfires, and carve up beasts for food. As a survival mystery title, players must explore the truth behind the titular Song in the Smoke. With illustrator Katsuya Tarada of Zelda and Blood The Last Vampire involved, this promises to be a more story-driven VR title. It's out in spring for PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, and Oculus Quest. I expect you to die too, the spy and the liar. The acclaimed espionage escape room title returns, adding new missions and environments but keeping the same level of cheekiness. I Expect You to Die Too, The Spy and the Liar sees the player once again getting involved with Xeraxis and putting a stop to their evil plans. Disguises, bomb handling, puzzle solving, and avoiding threats are just a few things to look forward to. It's expected to release this year for PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, and HTC Vive. Zenith Inspired by Japanese RPGs, Zenith aims to deliver a compelling MMO experience in VR. Set in a world forever changed by the fracture, exploration allows for climbing anything while combat relies on timing your blocks, parries, and attacks. On the MMO side of things, you can expect world bosses, dungeons, guilds, and public events, while the class system allows for freedom of choice irrespective of one's role. With its vibrant graphics and streamlined gameplay, Zenith could be the dot .hack experience we've been waiting for when it releases this year for PlayStation VR, Steam, and Oculus Quest. Layers of Fear VR Currently available for Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, this is the first Layers of Fear but completely playable in VR. As Bloober Team's breakout first-person horror title, it's about a twisted painter setting out to create his masterpiece. Hallways change while creepy figures may or may not make you jump, but it's still a solid horror title. While it hasn't been officially announced for PlayStation VR, Layers of Fear VR is listed as coming soon when viewing the PlayStation Store on PS5. Perhaps a stealth drop sometime this year. Star Wars Pinball VR At first, you'd think that a Star Wars Pinball title is just that, pinball with Star Wars themes. But Zen Studio Star Wars Pinball VR aims for much more, offering eight tables based on various properties, from the original trilogy to Star Wars Rebels and The Mandalorian. You can also expect 360-degree mini-games based on memorable scenes like the speeder bike sequence on Endor and the final battle with Darth Vader. There's also a fan cave where players can earn and display different items alongside the pinball table. Star Wars Pinball VR is out on April 29th for PlayStation VR, Steam, and Oculus Quest. Sniper Elite VR First announced at E3 2019, Sniper Elite VR saw its first gameplay trailer in September 2020. It offers a brand new campaign set in Italy during World War II and is exclusively in first person. Don't worry though, the X-ray kill camera and historically accurate weapons are still here with support for PlayStation Aim and PlayStation Move. A release date has yet to be confirmed, but Sniper Elite VR will be coming soon to PlayStation VR, Oculus, and Steam. Lo-Fi a cyberpunk title with a retro-futuristic aesthetic, Lo-Fi has you playing a sheriff. Patrol City Block 303 and interact with both humans and AI, either doling out tickets, playing games, purchasing gifts, or shooting things indiscriminately. It's all fairly mysterious, but the Blade Runner-like tones make it appealing. Lo-Fi is currently slated for Valve Index, HTC Vive, and Oculus, though it's also coming to PS5. Whether it's set for the next generation PlayStation VR or simply backwards compatible with PSVR on PS5 remains to be seen, but a PS4 release isn't happening. Jupitergrad Game Dust brings the animated platforming of Jupitergrad, 
to PlayStation VR and Oculus Quest this summer. Explore 50 levels of an industrial space station, utilizing grappling hooks and boosters to solve spatial puzzles and pull off crazy stunts. The PSVR and Oculus Quest versions will also have time attack mode across 20 new and remixed levels as one competes for a spot on the leaderboards. Unorthodox but intriguing, Jupiter Grad promises a space exploration package unlike any other. Winds and Leaves VR shooters and survival titles are great, but what about building a garden paradise? This is the core premise behind Winds and Leaves as the player sets about growing forests in a barren land. Trees are procedurally grown, dynamic weather and time come into play, and the soundtrack will change as the world does. For a more chilled out VR experience that's all about exploring and rejuvenating the world, Winds and Leaves is definitely worth keeping an eye on. It's currently set to launch this spring. Fract. While In Dream's Phantom Covert Ops was a more grounded, stealth-intensive title, its newest game, Fract, is the opposite. It's you versus interdimensional foes, but being stranded in a mountain facility means plenty of climbing, running, and skiing in gunfights. Seamless movement and high-speed combat are your best friends throughout this experience. Fract is coming to PlayStation VR this summer, and those playing on PS5 can take advantage of an uncapped dynamic resolution, faster loading times, and better frame rate. Solaris Offworld Combat The fast-paced multiplayer shooting of Solaris Offworld Combat comes to PlayStation VR this spring. Consisting of 4v4 matches, you'll start out with a pistol and sprint and slide through futuristic arenas, acquiring better weapons like rocket launchers and arc rifles. There are seven maps of varying size to choose from, but the goal remains the same. Capture the control point before your opponents and win. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.